Now it's time to make the lid. So I'm gonna take my slab of clay, so my slab is just my flat piece. And I'm gonna take my container. I'm gonna turn it upside down on my slab. And I'm just going to trace around the walls. So I just wanna make sure that it will fit on top. And I'm going to carve it out. You can make it a little bit bigger so it hangs over the edges of your box or your container, or you can make it the exact same size. Then I'm going to show you what to do so it does not slip. So this is just going to slip right off the box, the container. So I'm going to take a piece of clay and I'm going to roll a snake and just around the inside, I'm going to attach that. So this will slip, this will um, catch the lid if it tries to slip off the container. So once I have it on there, you don't have to slip and score this as long as you just meld it down really, 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 really well. So after you meld it on the inside and the outside here, I just like to pinch it, so you just take your fingers and pinch it so that it is kind of tall. So this is going to catch your lid so that your lid doesn't slide off of your pot and fall to the ground. So there you go. And then, I'm not doing the best job here, but you get the idea. The next thing that you do is just create a handle for this. So whatever handle you want, and actually, you know what, you can do that before you put this on. That might actually be easier, but just create a handle. Maybe it's a ball, maybe it's a little spiral, maybe it's a loop, and you just slip and score your handle. So make sure that you slip and score everything. Score, score, score. You score everywhere where it goes. Take your slip. That's your glue. Stick it on there and meld it the best you can. And then you have your handle. So I'm just pressing that handle on there really well. And I'm melding it together. <laughs> 